Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today we have a brand new foot birthday card to grind for with this 87 rated Hamza Chowdhury. Now he has been a Silver Star legend this year. A lot of people have used his 74 rated to complete those objectives, but now he's been given some massive boost, including a five star weak foot, which is worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button. I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way. I'm going to give you some ideas on how to combine this with some other objectives. But before we begin, if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So Child Hurry requires five separate parts to complete, and none of them, this is actually a fairly easy objective. And just to point out, we have one week to complete this, so you get, need to get this knocked out in one week. But first one is Anchorman Assist. Assist five goals using CDMs. And again, we're back in Managerial Masterpiece. I'll point this out again. I pointed it out last week, but Managerial Masterpiece is now up to a 79 rating. So make sure you adjust your squads accordingly to that. But this is all about the position on the card before you go into the match. So just for example, if you have Cristiano Ronaldo, who is obviously a striker when he comes out, if you position modify him to a CDM, then that counts as a CDM assist. Even though his card comes out as a striker, it's about what's on the card when they go into the match. So make sure you're going into the match. If you've got two CMs, you're going to need to position modify one of them to at least a CDM or have someone on the bench that's a CDM because you need to make sure to get your assist there. I'll point out here that there is no game requirement. Sometimes it'll be something like assist a goal with a CDM in five separate matches. This is just one that you could do in one match. If you have any problems with it, message your opponent and say, can I do this one? Plus, can I do these next two? So if you're if you're going to message your opponent, you can do three of these all at once. I'll just point that out real quick while I was saying that. Next one is Wicked Weak Foot. Score three finesse goals using players with minimum four-star weak foot. This shouldn't be that big of an issue. Most of the players that I'm recommending are already four-star weak foot. And luckily, they didn't make it five-star weak foot since Chowdhury has been upgraded to a five-star weak foot. So this is just three finesse goals holding the RB or R1. You can do them all in one match. It's not in separate matches. So like I said, if you wanted to message your opponent, you could do these two plus this one all in one match. Premier Party, score 11 goals using Premier League players in the Live Foot Friendly Managerial Masterpiece. Again, just any Premier League player. It's not in separate matches, so it just has to be with in one match. You could score 11 goals, have three of them be finesse goals, and have five of the assists coming from CDMs, and you've completed these three objectives in one match if, if that's what you want to do. Now, if you're trying to just grind out the whole thing, you're going to get this no problem, so don't worry about any of these. These will all just come. The main one is just to worry about is make sure you're getting assists with the CDM. And again, like I said, just to point this out again, if you've got a CDM and you're having trouble getting assists from the CDM, you can move him up to striker. You, he can play at striker in game. The CDM, like just say you have Musa Sissoko as an example, and if he's a CDM on the card, you can move him up to striker. Try to get some assists with him that way. So you know, there's, there's no real reason why you can't get this one just grinding through it. Just maybe change them in game to play at striker, even though their card will be a CDM. Then we get a steady success. Here's where we start getting into some of the grind. We need to win eight matches. And this is where we first get into any restrictions with minimum six Premier League players in your starting squad. So they went a little light on this. A lot of times it would be 11 Premier League players or eight or ten, nine or 10. This one's only six Premier League players. So should be fairly simple to build your team. And I'm going to give you my team building idea here in just a minute as well. The last one, this is the main challenge, Fox in the Box, scoring 14 separate matches using English players and managerial masterpiece. So whatever you do, make sure by the end of the match you've scored a goal with an English player or you did not tick anything off on the box here. So and again, remember it's only six Premier League players. So if you needed to have Sancho in your starting lineup or there was that Sessegnon level 30 card, I think it was last season, it may, may have been the season before, I'm pretty sure it was last season. There's Ryan Kent, that especially, he just had a new foot birthday card or if you've got one as team of the week card. So it doesn't have to be a Premier League English player, or even Tavernier, you know, he can certainly bang in goals too. So you've got some options there. It doesn't have to be a Premier League English player, but we'll go over that in just a second. But let's go and take a look at the Chowdhury car. We'll see what he's looking like, if he's worth getting. I think he is. I think he looks like a really outstanding card. The only thing I would have a minor complaint on on Child Hurry is they didn't really boost him that much. I mean, didn't really boost his overall rating. I think it's a really good card. 
but they didn't, you know, a lot of the cards we've been getting have been like 90 rated or 89, so they're better fodder, but this one's a little bit less rated, but, you know, it's still, it's actually a really usable, playable card. So we'll take a look at this, 87 rated with 80p, so I would 100% recommend a shadow on this card, would take him to 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, would really boost his defending. I want you to take a close look at that defending. I know it only says 87, but the only weak part of it is heading accuracy, which really is not that important for a CDM, but his stand tackle is 90, defensive awareness is 88. That'll be boosted up with the shadow as well. His physicals are actually pretty good. 96 aggression, 84 strength for a player that is 5 foot 10, medium high work rates, three star skill moves, which generally from that holding midfielder role, you you don't, I mean, you always want skill moves, but I'm saying you can get by easily with three star skill moves with, with your holding midfielder, but five star weak foot I think is great. So that means he can pass left he can pass right you don't have to think about it you can go wherever you want with the ball with chowdery which is a major advantage uh, his agility is nice you know you maybe want it just a hint bit higher on agility and balance but it, it's not poor by any means i think he's going to be back there doing a great job he doesn't really have any great traits it's only a cpu trait that he has but really really strong card overall i think he is definitely worth grinding for now to take a look at the team I'm putting together, we've got what I'm recommending here. Now remember, we can have 79 rating now, so we can take a few more, you know, a few more luxuries. For example, we can have Nick Pope in net now instead of having like a 75 rated keeper. We've got Rashford in this team, and I feel like Rashford, if you don't have some of those cards, like if you don't have like a strong Sancho, or if you don't have a Sessegnon, or maybe if you have Vardy, Vardy would be fine, or if you happen to have Harry Kane is fine. It's just Harry Kane is so slow in the game. It's just hard to even use him unless you have that rule breakers, Harry Kane. But, you know, make sure you get an English option in the team to bang in some goals. And it also may be worthwhile to have a couple English bench players to bring on. And one thing I am considering, now I think Sissoko is a managerial masterpiece legend, a 79 rated card that plays well above 79. However, I'm thinking about even changing Sissoko or Fred to Ox, you know, that, to Oxley chamberlain He is 79 rated, but that's another English player with good pace that could bang in some goals. It doesn't cost a ton. And then I'm also recommending Martial, recommending Rodrigo. I think Lucas Mora is an outstanding card. At the back, we're going to go with Fredericks. Now, Tamori here, if you need to buy him, and I've been recommending you holding on to one of these, he's another managerial masterpiece legend. Basically, but he is on loan to Milan at the moment, so his Chelsea card is has... It's really, it's still not that expensive in the scheme of things, to be honest with you. I would buy a Chelsea Tamori card and just hold on to it for the rest of the game cycle. He is amazing for managerial masterpiece. Also, speaking of luxuries we can take, we can now have Joe Gomez in the team. So, talking about an 83 rated Joe Gomez that is going to make life so much easier. And so, this is kind of the base of what I'm recommending. Now, the most expensive card would be Rashford. But I think he's going to make this objective so much easier for you. Now, he could be rising right now because with those English objectives, Premier League objectives, sometimes those cards rise up. But if you wait a couple days, he'll come back down. And then, you know, it's a good time to buy Rashford, get that 85 Rashford in your team. And I would play him at striker. You need to change Rashford to striker. And just to point out here, Fred does come out as a CDM. So we, you do need CDM assist. And maybe it would also be smart for me to change Sissoko to a CDM just to give me that, those extra options for CDM assist. And there's one more thing I want to point out about how we can combine some objectives. So let's back out and go back to the objective screen. There was an objective that came out last week called Samba Stars. Or I think that's what, yeah, Samba Stars. This one, you I've started on this one, but if you haven't completed this one, you can 1 million percent combine Samba Stars with the Child Hurry card. And we'll just briefly look at this. Play 10 matches with six Brazilian players. Win six matches with, with six Brazilian players. Score 12 goals, assist six goals with six Brazilian players in your starting squad. So if you want to go for Samba Stars and Child Hurry at the same time, uh, you'll notice I've put a couple Brazilians on the bench that I think will help lead this objective out to the end here. And basically what you can do, you know, get this Mateus Pereira, get Jesus, get Allen, and get Rafinha, and play them with Fred and with Lucas Mora, and those are your six Brazilians. So then you've got your Premier League players, you've got your Brazilian players, so you're knocking out both objectives at the same time, which is always beautiful. 
Last thing I want to point out on this team, I always like to try to leave a slot open for a lot of firepower. If you happen to have this 90 rated Jeru or you have like another night, like let's see what we have in our team. We've got, you know, you can just go and kind of tailor this. I try to give you the base and then you can kind of tailor it. We have this player of the month, Hungman Sun. You know, I do have this Harry Kane, but you can just see there he's just so slow, just so hard to use. Or I've got all bombing. You know, I, I try to leave some spots or some room for you to put in who you have in your team. So if you have that Jeru, you can pop pop Giroux out here instead of Rodrigo and notice the rating is still 79 100 so we're still 79 rated even with that 90 Giroux now that is pretty much capping it off we don't have a lot of other wiggle room like I think even if I take Fred to an 83 yeah so you can see there in the top left where Prim Daddy's is it takes the rating to 80 so that's pretty much capped out at that stage let me put this back the way I had it with Fred now the other thing I like to point out I know a lot of you like to bring on loan and buy pay off the bench Alone Mbappe has the same rating as Giroud, which is 90. So what I would recommend there, you know, you'd put your 90 Giroud on the bench. Now notice that takes it to 80. So what you would need to do is I would probably sub off Rodrigo. So just put a low rated card as a placeholder instead of that Rodrigo. And then then you would sub off this card for that Mbappe if you wanted to have Lone Mbappe come off the bench. But Anyways, boys, that's going to wrap it up for now. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Check the description. Join my Discord server. But I will see you guys soon. Take care and bye.